Almost no one listens to analog music anyone, unless you really like 8-tracks or LPs. You almost always listen to digital music. But what about your boat? Is it analog or is it digital? Stick around to find out more. Hi, I'm Sean from Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. And you probably don't think about it in your car all that often, but your car is likely a digitally controlled car. And what I mean by that is as you turn on your ignition and you see the gauge cluster go up and down and the lights come on, all the information is going to a computer and then being displayed to you digitally, even though it may look like a traditional gauge up and down, that data is coming from a sensor or a source on the engine or in the car and then being displayed digitally for you. And when you push the accelerator on your car, it's likely digital. And that means that it likely has an electronic rheostat built into the accelerator. And then that is turned into a signal electronically with a voltage. And that goes to the engine's computer and tells the engine how much speed you want to have. The boat world is a little bit slower to adopt these technologies and you now are seeing more and more digital boats. Back 10 to 15 years, it was a huge upsell to have a digital boat and it was very rare. So you'd see acronyms like DTS or Digital Throttle and Shift and SmartCraft or SmartCraft gauges. And almost all manufacturers, whether it was Yamaha, Mercury or Volvo and others had digital versions of their engines and their control systems. Not only to the gauges on the dash, but also to the displays. And those touchscreen displays are much like your car and they can sync navigation, water details like temperature and depth, and also engine diagnostic information. So really the whole experience becomes a little bit better and gives you better data to make good boating choices. In the past, when digital technology in boats was very new and in its infancy, we found that the break rate or failure rate in digital was very high. So older systems that are 20 years plus, you may want to realize that that technology was not as robust as it is today. So it is possible that in real complex systems, it may be something to avoid in a used boat. Analog is always very easy to repair because most marine dealerships will know how to put a new ship cable in or a new throttle cable in and gauges can still be bought on the aftermarket to replace that whether that's Teleflex or Faria or others. Digital is a little bit more brand or manufacturer specific so older digital models may be something to avoid but anything new say newer than 10 years if that boat is digital and you're looking at used versus a similar boat that has analog controls and analog gauges, it may be something you want to consider so you get better information. Thanks for joining us on today's Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Make sure you subscribe to get on board for more of these type of videos. If you like today's video, make sure you throttle that like button, get out on the water, have fun, and stay safe.